Hey Crossword fans! Today we're going to be solving the New York Times crossword for Saturday, December 11th, 2021. Alright, let's get started. One across. Producer of inflation. Hmm. Are we talking about monetary inflation? I kind of doubt it. What other kinds of inflation are there? I guess like balloons? Is it helium maybe? I don't know. Prone. That should be apt, right? You're apt to do something. Maybe this could just be air. That would go into a balloon. Yeah. Okay. Where the Noah's Ark story is thought to have occurred today. Um, I want to say that's maybe Iran. I guess it could be Iraq too. Let's take a look at this N here. Fantastic voyage. Hmm. Maybe that's a quest. Maybe it's a rock actually. Yeah, let's take a look at these acrosses here. Some origin stories. Is this going to be prequels? Hmm, are we going to have a Q mini theme today? We already have two Qs in the grid. That's kind of funny. Let's see if this Q is correct. 17 across offering. Moles are found in it. Are we talking about spies or are we talking about rodents? Moles. If this Q is correct, this would be a U. Hmm. What's this grid spanning down here? Oh my god, is there another Q here? Essential work. It's looking like it's going to start with required, right? Um. Hmm. I don't know how it's going to end, though. Essential work. Interesting. Look at this. Three Qs in a row. I wonder if this is going to be a Q as well. We do have the U here. One might be educated. No, I think that should be a guess, right? An educated guess. Okay, our string of Qs has finally come to an end. Ranking number? Ranking. Hmm. I'm not sure about that one. Oh my god, this is not about rodents or spies. This is about moles. Mole sauces, right? That would be in a taquiera, I think, right? Taquieras? Is that a restaurant? I'm pretty sure that's right. I'm not 100% sure on the definition of this, but I think you could probably find mole sauce there. Yeah, excellent. That one's nice and tricky. I like that a lot. Unsettle. Hmm. Is this unsettling a person or is this like shaking something up maybe? I don't know. Subject of David Remnick's King of the Worlds. Hmm. I wonder if this is Takieri's actually. And maybe this could be Muhammad Ali? I don't know. Maybe this could be a grade point average? A ranking number? Is that right? Yeah, because then this could be perturb, right? If you're perturbed, you're unsettled. And you could also, like, perturb the soil, unsettle the soil, yeah. Alright, that's looking good. Promulgate. That should be issue, I think. Oh, right, we had a cross clue here. I bet you could find a quesadilla at a taquieri, right? Um, how do you spell that? I think it's like this. Nice, okay. One time Mughal capital. Ooh, I don't know if I know this one. Ran. Could that be sped, possibly? Ushered. That should be led in, I think. Let's look at these downs here. Fit. I wonder if this is able, actually. Hmm. Country rocker Steve. I definitely don't know this one. Twinkle. That should be a gleam, maybe, right? Let's take out sped. Let's put in gleam. A twinkle in your eye, kind of like Santa. And then this is going to be ran as in like ink could run. It bled. Very tricky. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so I wonder if this is agra. Maybe I'm spelling quesadilla wrong. Maybe it could be quesadilla like that. This could be agra. This could be able. Um, I think Steve... Earl is maybe a name I've seen on crosswords before. 
And then maybe this is required reading. That would be essential work to have a good GPA. Yeah, very nice. Okay. Treatment for jet lag could maybe be melatonin. It'll help you get to sleep. Yeah. Uh-oh, two A's. What is this? Elder brother of Moses. Oh yeah, that's Aaron. That's also the alphabetically first of the most popular boy names in the United States, right? We learned that a couple of days ago. Okay. Pentagon initials. I think that should be DOD, Department of Defense. Yeah. 2010's Blank Frank Act. I think that was the Dodd-Frank Act. I can't remember what that was about. I think it was some sort of financial regulation. Yeah. Name for a Dalmatian, perhaps? I would really want that to be Spot. I'm pretty sure about DOD, though. Hmm. Let's look at these acrosses. Question that introduces doubt. Is it or is it? <laughs> yes, that would introduce doubt. It's nothing in Spanish. That's de nada. Something you might hear at a taquiri. <laughs> This is great, we've got a lot of Spanish on the puzzle today. Um, what is this? Oh, is it gonna be Oreo because they're black and white? Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right. Course challenge. What kind of course are we talking about here? Are we talking about a class? Are we talking about a golf course maybe? Maybe it's a meal? You don't really think of a meal as having a challenge though. Spanish seasoning. Oh my god, that's so funny. More Spanish. This has to be sal, right? That's salt. Maybe this is a dog leg. Yeah, we are talking about golf. Okay. That's when the hole has a bend in it that goes right or left. Yeah, okay. One face of the moon. Is it going to be the near side? I guess there's the far side of the moon. Yeah, you don't really hear people talking about the near side. That's funny. Identifier scene in the six feet under title sequence. That has to be a toe tag, right? I've never watched six feet under, but I know it was about a mortuary, I think, right? It would blank, it would seem. Tender union, and this is wordplay. So I guess it's not gonna be about a happy marriage. Where's the pun gonna be here? Tender union. Is it about a union at a bank? <laughs> that kind of legal tender? I'm not sure. Interesting. Army blank. Army boot? Dirt farm. More wordplay, okay. Um, I'm not sure what the standard reading of dirt farm would be. Maybe it would have some kind of agricultural meaning. I would really want the punny reading to be about gossip though, that kind of dirt. Uh, is it like a tabloid? Hmm, I don't know. Spotted. Shouldn't that be saw? Oh, this is taqueria. Shoot, we had that wrong. Yeah, this clue is definitely asking for something singular. I'm not sure why I tried to make it plural. That's so funny. Okay, so this should be saw. This is taqueria. This has to be a restaurant. Yeah, okay. Collaborative resource. Hmm. Is it wheel? Like common wheel? That's a very unusual word. I like seeing that on the grid. Um, okay. Kind of muscle contraction. Oof. This sounds like biology. I'm not sure about this one. San Rafael's County. Oh my god. San Rafael was just on the puzzle too, I think. It's in California. I want to say... Just based on that N, maybe it's Marin County? That's kind of a wild guess though. Medalla material? I don't know what a medalla is. Maybe this is more Spanish though. Maybe this is just the word for metal in Spanish. So the word for gold in Spanish is oro, right? Wow, okay. Small batch publication? That could be a zine. Another very rare letter. We've got a Z to go along with all our Q's up here. Oh, is this Eurozone? I guess they're a union that uses the same currency, right? So we were kind of talking about tender as being currency. 
That's very clever. The Eurozone. Very tricky there. This is going to be Army Brat. Yeah, somebody that's raised on army bases. Okay. Oh, this is going to be about gossip. It's going to be a rumor mill. That's a really nice clue. I just wish I knew what a dirt farm was. <laughs> um, I'm not sure about this muscle contraction. I want this to be a C. Maybe this is an X. Hmm. Food often served with plastic grass. That has to be sushi. Esotonic. Yeah, I've never seen this word before. All eyes on me wrapper. Hmm. This is not looking familiar to me. It's thought to ward off bad energy. Should that be a talisman? Maybe it's not wheel. Hmm. That's too bad. I liked that entry. Talisman. This eye looks really weird though. Oh, maybe it's a wiki. And then this could be isotonic. That looks better. We just had the prefix iso on the puzzle a day or two ago too. Okay, so this is wiki. That's a good answer too. Um, is this Tupac? Yeah, this must be Tupac Shakur, yeah. Um, okay, let's see if we can get these acrosses here. Confront in slang. Is that step two? I wanna say it is, yeah. Rumors are carried by blank, spread by fools, and accepted by idiots. Old saying. Um, I guess it has to be another word for like a fool or an idiot. Um, people that pay too much attention to the rumor mill, I guess. Uh, hmm, it starts with H-A. I don't know, I'm not sure what that's gonna be. 1991 platinum debut album by a female singer. So this is the name of the album? I hope the album is named after the singer because I don't really know album names very well at all. Hmm, let's look at these downs. H. <laughs> Maybe this is the Greek letter for H? Could that be Ada? Yeah. Maybe this is Alanis. Yeah, that would make sense that it went platinum. She was super popular. Okay. Is this haters? It can't be an old saying. Haters is such a new word. I can't believe that's right. Okay, something no two people can be. A trio, <laughs> by definition, yeah. Blank buko, is that also buko? Yeah. Maybe it is haters. Hmm. Is it really haters? React to a baby, maybe. That could be coo. People coo at babies. This is looking like pencil. Maybe it is haters. One making good points in the classroom. <laughs> this is wordplay. So it's not about debating, making good points that way. I think it must be about pencil sharpeners. Um, oh, it's just one. So it's just pencil sharpener singular. Yeah, okay. That is a fantastic little bit of wordplay. I feel like we have so many little mini themes on the puzzle today. We have grid spanners going down that are both about school. We have a whole bunch of Spanish on the western side of the puzzle. And we have a little corner that's all about gossip up here. It's so funny. All right, let's get this down here. Cousins of crew cuts. Hmm, crew cuts, so like really short cropped hair. It's not like high and tight or anything, right? Cousin of crew cuts. No, I don't know. Befuddled. Hmm. I guess I'm befuddled by this one. Ain't gonna happen, an equivalent phrase. Um, and it's kind of informal. So maybe it's like, no how? That seems pretty good. Director Sergio. Sergio Leone. Yeah, he did a bunch of classic westerns. Spaghetti Westerns. Befuddled could be at sea. Yeah, that's a classic crossword phrase. Okay. Struck dumb could be odd, maybe? It's often framed. Would that be a pane, like a window pane? Hmm. High top. Hmm. One of the Scooby-Doo gang? That's definitely Fred. 
Are these high top fades, maybe? Let's see if that works. Like talk, they say. Talk is cheap, they say. What's this down here? Bolster. Could that be enhance? Like your argument was enhanced by a point of data? Yeah. Okay. Elizabeth of Cosmetics. I think that's Arden, isn't it? Not 100% on that one. Actress Alexander of Get Out. Ooh. Um, I love this movie. I'm not sure who this is. Is this the mom? I wonder. Card games are played in it. Card games. Hmm. Is this about gambling? That kind of card game? I don't know. Group with much discussed amateurism rules? That has to be the NCAA. Yeah. There's been a lot of talk this year about why athletes aren't allowed to make money until they go pro, right? Okay, let's look at these acrosses. Something a judge might show. It's not deference, no. Lenience? Ooh, there we go, that looks good. Okay, hmm. This is not Major League Baseball. It can't be. ML, hmm. Where some unsolicited advice comes from. Unsolicited advice. This is looking like Erica, maybe. Could this be Erica? Erica Alexander? I wonder. Hmm. Have? That could be eat. If you eat something, you could say you have it. Yeah. Actually, that's why the phrase, you can't have your cake and eat it too, always confused me. Because I always thought, well, if you're having your cake, you are eating it. <laughs> yeah, it actually took me a long time to figure out what that phrase truly meant. Okay, black blank. Could that be black tea? Maybe it is Erica. Maybe it's Erica with a K. Could this be backseat? You would get unsolicited advice from a backseat driver. That's very good. Backseat. It is MLB. Oh, it's card games. Oh my God. Card is short for the St. Louis Cardinals. And because we have the abbreviated card for Cardinals, we get the abbreviation MLB in the answer. That was so hard. That's very tricky. I like that a lot. All right, let's see if we can finish this off here. Paycheck abbreviation? Hmm. This should be year to date, I think. So maybe this is leniency. Yeah. And then this is going to be rad, an equivalent phrase for cool dude. That is a great way to end this Saturday puzzle. Let's see if that does it for us. All right, a Saturday puzzle in 27 minutes. I feel very good about that, especially after yesterday's performance that took about double that time. Yeah, they probably should have switched today's and yesterday's puzzle. Um, not that this was like terribly easy or anything, but it played a lot smoother than yesterday's puzzle. Um, but I did like this one a lot. I wish I hadn't messed up Takaria so much. Um, but yeah, that was kind of nice that it sort of tied this whole western half of the grid together. Takaria, Quesadilla, we had Danada, we even had a little gold, some Oro here. Yeah, that was a very nice Spanish mini theme on this Saturday puzzle. And like we mentioned before, it was cool that the two long grid spanners kind of had something in common too. I kind of felt like the wordplay amped up on the southern half of the puzzle, and I really liked that. We had this nice wordplay clue for pencil sharpeners. I liked this backseat answer for unsolicited advice. This was super tricky. Oh man, I just loved this baseball misdirection. And Eurozone, that was great too. Tender Union, a very tricky wordplay clue. And that crossing rumor mill, that was fantastic too. Dirt Farm. All right, well, thank you for being my backseat solvers on today's puzzle. I hope you enjoyed that one as much as I did. I'm going to be coming back at you tomorrow for the nice, long, lazy Sunday solve. And I think that's going to do it for now. All right, I'll see you next time.